Okay, so. <laughs> it's been ages since I filmed something. Again. No excuse. Just. Got no energy for filming, I think. Um, so, I'm making. Kind of making a new journal. Kind of. Um, so, I had this tea journal. Let me show you what we had before. Um, so, this was the front cover. And I've added these pages. What I've done is I've taken it apart because I want to make it a lot bigger. And um, so it is. Is there um, and this is a whole hunk of pages because I had uh, these stickers going across here so I've had to keep that kind of together so that's in there and then uh, what I've done is I've used Honey's um, video for how to tea dye with lace. Mine doesn't turn out quite as good as hers ever but yeah her method is the best. I've experimented with other methods, similar methods but it never works out quite the same so I'm adding uh, like I say the old pages to some new pages few there. Uh, these ones. Oh, that's the same one. I've already showed you that one. <laughs> anyway, right, so that's my pages. Um, I am making a sort of mini book to go in um, one of the pockets about, I just need to make a cover for this now, um, about weeding tea leaves, tassology. This is a little fun addition, some extra page papers there. So I'm using my Deacon's journal kit. Art journal kit, this one. I don't think I'm gonna use these pieces. Might do, might not. Um but today I'm going to start with the cover. Hopefully this video won't take too long and I'll be able to edit it into one video. I've got some snacks there and my tea. Of course I need tea whilst I'm making a tea journal. So all I've done so far is tape together the pieces. And we're going to cover the cover. <laughs> if I can find my glue. Let's see. Hopefully I've got enough of this left. So this is the Colal book binding glue. Probably need to get some more of this. I'm going to use this Alice in Wonderland fabric because you know Alice in Wonderland and tea they go together quite well, I think. So. Um, I think I'm going to work on one side at a time because the glue is going to go through that as I stick to my table if I'm not careful. So I've cut it quite big so that we can fold over the edges. Um, so let's pop some glue on here for starters. <laughs>
Okay, so it's all set together. It's all done. I've added a little, my first little dangly bit to the front. Oh, sorry, there's a kid outside. It's obviously never played with a whistle before. Constantly <laughs> blowing. So this is a little um, tag I got from Wales. Where are you up to Wales? Off tea bag. And I've coated it in some plastic. Um, so it's a laminator sheet that I put through the laminator empty for another purpose but I had some leftover so I've used glossy accents to stick two pieces of that over the tag and that's made sort of nice plasticky charm. I'm going to find some other charms to put off here, hang off here. I'm um, probably going to put some nearer the top as well. So that's my tea journal look, all ready to go. Um, I didn't tell you the reason I wanted to make a big art. It's because I got an advent calendar this year for myself and I'm definitely getting another one next year. <laughs> Tea pigs and um, yeah, I just love these little envelopes and I wanted to put them in my, uh, here they are, sorry, uh, in my journal. So obviously I've got, well, I've got less than 24 because the there were some cold brew tea bags in there that had more of a plasticky. Um, wrapper so I'm not going to put those in um, I also want to put some of the doors in um, some of them have like nice little facts about the tea uh, oh that's mine can't open that one yet uh, <laughs> if I could find one yeah all tea comes from the same plant um, so I'm going to be taking those off uh, unfortunately the cat has had a nibble on some of this cardboard because that's what he does so I'll go through that and take some of that out uh, so yeah I'll be adding some of those bits um, I've been through my stash again now that I've got a bigger space I can fit some slightly larger images in I'll have to cut that one down I've got a few Alice in Wonderland things because Alice in Wonderland was my favourite as a child. I think that might be where my tea obsession came from. Oh, I found this as well. A bell with uh, Mrs. Potts and Chip. And a gorgeous image. So that can go in. And then I have all sorts of, this is from the smaller book, things that I was going to put in. So I've got cups and quotes and things. Stickers, all sorts. So, I will be working on that. Oh, I also made some large tags which may need to be cut down to size. I might not use these in here, but again, I use the lace technique. I'm going to try and find Honey's um, video and link it down below. I also have this image of a lady. And I think I'm just going to pop a little teacup in her hand just because I thought she was quite pretty. Again, I might have to trim that down just a little bit. But yeah, it's just a fun little journal. Um, inspiration from the tea journal actually came from Cat Hand. Um, she made a coffee journal, a very small one, which is why I started out small. But again, it has expanded. Um, I have all sorts of tea tags. This is from the Yogi Tea. And they have little quotes on them, so I'll probably add those to the edges like I did originally with the pages. Like this. So you have little tabs and all sorts. I might trim some of these pages shorter, just to make different sizes, because we already have different size pages. Uh, I know where to add another pocket into the front, so I have this one here. So in here I have a, this is actually a tea bag that I opened up, and then I used wax to trap the paper and the little quote inside. Remember the now? I have another one somewhere. Uh, I don't know if that's still floating about in here, or if I put it away. Oh, I don't know. But yeah, there's 
one with a little gorgeous figure inside it, a round one. So there we go. Um, I might in the future do another little flip through just to show you how far I've got. I think this is going to be one of those journals that's going to take me forever to fill. I'm just going to keep adding when I feel like it. Um, I might just have a little flick through my stash now, see if there's a page that I want to do. Yeah. Yeah, actually, let's start out with this lady. Um, I'm going to use one of these transfers. Hopefully, they'll work nicely for me. Hopefully, they really nice. I'm going to just grab scissors just to slip one out. Um, this is from an Alice in Wonderland colouring book that came with transfers. I do have a little wooden stick just there. Let's use that. Sorry if I'm wobbling the table. I feel a lot better, guys. I've got all that stuff up on top, all the party stuff on top of the wardrobe. The room is still a mess, but I'm slowly getting there, which makes me feel better. the wrong way to go in her, with the hand. So do I have anything else? No, that one's facing the wrong way as well. Uh, I don't think I'm going to have anything. So... Okay, let's just take this back out so that we've got all sorts of goodies. Oh, there it is. Oh, square one. I thought it was round. I love you like a fool. <laughs> yep. I love my tea. Love it, love it, love it. Right. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> um, that's uh, again. Oh no, that's West Somerset. So that was a cup of tea that we had on another steam train. That first tag, uh, this one, the Welsh one. That's. I think that was the first time I'll go away. Let's see. Got to the yellow quotes. Oh, I think that one should go with Belle. You can never get a cup of tea large enough or a book long enough to suit me. She's actually sitting on a pile of books, so. That one's kind of too big, I think. So. Now then. Let's see. It's fine. A pinch. I'm 
just going to show it. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Trim. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm trying not to make this video too long. So let's just go. theatre images. I bought it off Create and Craft actually, so have a look there. It's a German brand. That's all I remember. <laughs> okay, so I feel like she might be saying that tea it's what drink winners drink. So I'm going to just cut it down just slightly. Yes, I like that. Okay. So now I need to pop some glue on there. I've removed everything. So the glue. Yeah. Oh, sorry, if you saw my face. <laughs> Or glue stick, or the brand new all that. Plenty of that on. Um, incidentally, Mike Deacon just announced the other day that he's releasing another version of this journal kit in a six by six. And I feel like I need to buy it. <laughs> because I really do like these gels. I do have another kit somewhere in this shape. That's it. It is not very far from me. I have seen it today. Because obviously I've been tidying. So. I've either put it back or it's behind me. So. Yeah. Oh, shall we? Let's add a bit of this minty green colour if we can. Let's Green bow, is that what we, what we want? Let's try that. The muckiest sponge ever. <laughs> Just to tie it in. With her, bring out some of that green. It's not bad. Yep. This is actually, I've printed these on to stick a paper just to make things a little easier for me. Let's pop that sort of thing. Um, what do we do have? 
Ew. A little bit. <laughs> Another teapot that's like burnt for the be something that we look out for. A little pot to fit there or just something to pop there. Uh, let's pop these back in. But I am happy with that so far. Uh, yeah. So I think that's just a nice little that I hope it's inspired you to start a journal maybe coffee journal tea journal um, something else you love wine <laughs> you know anything like that um, where did I put that picture Well, <laughs> maybe, maybe. Not going to leave it on that spotty one, so. pages <laughs> although as I say I'll probably keep adding to these pages just find that any bits and bobs that I think oh that looks good there so yeah um, I feel like I need some more backgrounds as well like I might have to look for some papers 
at a tea related link somewhere, something like that. But there we go. Um, so I'm going to find some, I'm sure somewhere in my Alice in Wonderland collection I have some cup charms, things like that I can ha add to there. But yeah, that's it, that's all for today. Um, may come back and share some more with you on that. Um, I'll definitely do a flip through, flip through if ever I finish it, but um, yeah, that was probably a long way off. Um, <laughs> So thanks very much for watching, uh, again I hope that's inspired you um, to start your own journal, or just a few pages in a journal, it doesn't have to be a full journal, because if you don't love tea as much as I do, <laughs> you might not have as much to say about it. Um, but yeah, I collect all sorts of tea ephemera, so I'll probably be adding a lot to it through the years. So we'll stop waffling now. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'll see you again soon. And hopefully we'll be getting this up. Might put this up tomorrow, which means it'll be Christmas Eve. So have a wonderful Christmas and a very happy new year.